this here lifestyle. Howard's homecoming is ratchet. Howard homecoming is popping. Howard homecoming is epic. Howard homecoming is lit as fuck. Litter than a bitch, boy. <laughs> Howard homecoming is legendary. Howard's homecoming is off the chain. Howard's homecoming is an experience. An experience. It's. It's, it's, it's something. It's a show. It'll change your life, I can say that. It's a show that's over. The whole thing is a show. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Howard's Homecoming is interesting. Howard's Homecoming is confusing. I don't know what's going on. Nah, man, nah. Honestly, because they're not, they're, not, they're not really expressing themselves. They're not really, like, communicating with the people this year. It's something. It's like Howard's people. Homecoming is something. Yeah, man, it's something. It will make or break how you feel about black people. Basically. It, it really determines that. If you don't question, you gonna question your life. It's like, you know what? Am I, am I cut out for the HBCU experience? Does this really mean? Do I need to be do here? I, do I like black people this much? Do I, <laughs> especially drunk black people? <laughs> Howard's homecoming is, is epidemic a word? No, that's a bad word. My favorite part of homecoming, it was Yard Fest. It's a little different this year. My favorite part of homecoming was definitely Yard Fest because it was a ratchet event. I prefer those ratchet events. Everybody was just turning on the yards, like no control over everything, and I got to see some good artists. My favorite part of homecoming is all the niggas that be coming out from different area codes. Just because I'm a big fan of the Lord, I love the gospel show, you know, get that praise. I think the gospel show never disappoints only because you come in there with a good heart and ready to serve and just willing to praise, so you'll never be disappointed, ever. My favorite part about homecoming gotta be Yard Fest because, I mean, the one Yard Fest I've been to, which was last year, I was on stage on some DJ shit, so that shit was lit. You know, I was, you know, talking to some of the artists, just seeing it from the, like, stage view is crazy, like, really, people all the way from, from the stage to fine arts, like, that shit, wow, and just seeing people turn up. My favorite part of homecoming is seeing the um, the locals try and flirt with the uh, uh, Howard females. Um, it's the most hilarious display of comedy I've ever seen in my life because uh, the females' faces um, they, they don't look really they don't look really in tune with what the locals are saying. Got to be the alumni. Like seeing all the alumni come back, it's like. It's just seeing them so happy, like, yo, the memories, like, yo, it's Douglas. Yo, I stayed in Drew in 2001, turn up. Oh. The R&B show last year, I saw Erica Badu for the first time live, and it was amazing. She just, you know, gave every part of life that you could possibly get from one person at one time. I like the bad alumni, the beautiful, the beautiful women gorgeous, the alumni. Uh, productive women of society right now. Exactly. We see you. We just, see you. Just saying. You we see are you. appreciated. More than appreciated, you are glorified. Mm -hmm. And if no Thank one you. else, you have me. Do I do I still go to class during homecoming week? Do I go to class at all? It's a better class, like. No. But like, you can like, if you got an assignment, turn that on there. Just keep it pushing. Like, doesn't really matter. It's homecoming. I mean, like. yeah. If you got an assignment, yeah. Like, if you got an assignment, just go to class, turn your assignment in, and leave. But really, niggas like homecoming is some wake up and drink type shit. You feel me? Like, you wake up. Pour up. You're not finna be trying to go to class. Uh, yeah, I'm lame. <laughs> I went to class on homecoming week because teachers be trying to sneak you with the extra credit stuff. You come, or they be trying to like give hella points that day, and they like teachers be cheating during homecoming week. They know nobody wants to come. So if you can, like, come and then just like quickly turn up afterwards. That's what I did. Like I ran back to my dorm, had everything shots already lined up. So go to class and then turn up. I do go to class during homecoming because homecoming committee does not pay my tuition. And my mama not playing them games over no artist that's already paid. Just saying. I don't know. Fuck class. Fuck a class. Fuck all my professors. Um, except um, Professor Joseph. He's cool peoples. Uh, but nah, um, Portuguese. <laughs> Do I still go to class during homecoming? Do I, Do I still go to class during homecoming? Um, uh, <laughs> here's the thing. This is, this is where yeah, I was a yeah, university yeah. student. You gotta learn how to finesse. I'm kind of upset that the hip hop concerts do new Yard Fest because Yard Fest used to be free, then they wanted to charge us $5 last year. Now it's something completely separate, not even on campus, and we have to pay for it. I'm not with it. I feel like Yard Fest has a spirit 
that just won't be recaptured again. So the hip hop concert replacing Art Fest, I think it's going to be a different type of atmosphere, but I still think it's a better move for organization, you know, and safety reasons. But Yard Fest is going to be alive. Yard Fest is going to be amazing. See, okay, now, broke. I feel broke. I got a problem because I feel like now that there's a hip hop concert and then Yard Fest, I feel like that hip hop concert is going to break my pockets. Exactly. Personally, I got a problem with that, okay? Quite frankly, I mean, you know, I, Young is broke. Young Bulls is broke. To say the to be blunt. To be bl to, to be, be frank. Blunt. If you want to be frank, I ain't got no money at all. That is a chaloop. Hip hop concert. That's a chaloop. Do you know what a chaloop is? That's a whole debacle. They can't even do that. How do you do, how do you compare free art fest to forty five dollar hip hop concert like? Like what? Like I don't even understand how you like that. That's not equal. You can't take away something that you can't take take away something free and replace it with something that expensive. Like that's crazy. Who don't want to come to the hip hop concert? No, no other. Was it the queen? The queen of rap of hip hop, Nicki Minaj. <coughs> Young thug. I think they got thug. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they got Migos, bro. A lot of people are trying to say Migos. But Migos not coming. They don't really need Migos. They need Thug. Like the lineup they got right now is Dom Kennedy and, and Fab. Yeah, that's that's crazy. decent. But like when they get Thug on there, it's over with. Who do I think will come? Well, I think I think they holding out J Cole. Don't I I could agree with I'm that. I'm holding out J Cole. Cause you know what? How how would they put you through a lot? But when they come through, they come through. Who's coming to the hip hop concert? No, but I hope it's Migos. I can turn up to them. And who do I want to perform? I mean, I, I need Chance the Rapper. I need Chance. Honestly, I'm gonna say I'm expecting Chance. I'm expecting Chance. And I, 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 I want Childish Gambino. And yeah, 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 because you can't have Chance without Childish. You really can't. That's like that's like when people when people ain't got got cereal but no milk, you no know, peanut butter, no jelly, Kool Aid, no sugar, like. I'm actually really excited about this year's homecoming. I'm about to drop a couple hundred. A couple, not all of it, but I'm about to drop some money. Just, I mean, the lineup ain't really got me like too piped up yet, but like, uh, I don't know, it's homecoming, so like anything can happen during homecoming week, you feel me? Like, you don't even know what's about to happen, so I'm like, saying, like, homecoming, you could be like, you could go to something that's really ass, and because you're drunk, you're lit, you're turned, you're geek, like, definitely. you can still be turned, you feel me? Homecoming. It's one of them things where like the whole week you just be turned regardless. So yeah. Some tips for staying safe for homecoming week. Okay. Hold your liquor. Okay. Hold your liquor. If you can't hold your liquor, do not go out. Understand that you need to you need to pop out, man. You need to you need to you need to dress, man. You need to get them fresh Jordans out, clean them a little bit. You know what I mean? I mean like, you know, go go to Zara's, get you one of them bags, them throw them brown paper bags and have a little expensive clothing in it and shit. I mean, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta pop out, man. You gotta pop out. Don't carry cash. I wouldn't suggest you carry cash. I would suggest you get a credit card or a debit card. And if you don't have that, take your behind back home and sign up for a bank account because you're in college. <laughs> I like homecoming because I just like seeing the alumni come back like, oh, hot, hot, girl, hot, woo. Girl, look at you, you know, graduate. In many ways, the one. I'll tell you. <laughs>